Welcome, YouTubers, to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to find reciprocals of fractions, mixed numbers, and whole numbers, which is a topic that frequently appears on the Mathematics Knowledge Subtest of the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to break this video down into two main parts. In the first part of the video, I'm going to discuss how to find the reciprocals of those things I just mentioned. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to work out some practice problems that should closely mirror what you may see on the ASVAB. Once we get to those practice questions, I strongly encourage you to pause the video, attempt to work out the practice questions on your own, and then resume playing the video to check your solution. So all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, so to start today's video, we're gonna be finding the reciprocal of some fractions. And as you can see, it says in order to find the reciprocal of a fraction, we swap the numerator and the denominator. Note, if the result is an improper fraction, you may have to convert it to a mixed number. All right, so prior to working out these examples, I wanna define a few of these terms in case you haven't worked with fractions in a long time. So a fraction has three main parts. The first part is the fraction bar. All right, apart from that, we have the number that sits above the fraction bar and we call that the numerator. And then the number that sits below the fraction bar is called the denominator. All right, so uh, the fraction one half has a numerator of one and a denominator of two. Um, so another term I want to define very quickly is uh, this term improper fraction. What is an improper fraction? Well, an improper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator has a greater value than the denominator. So for example, if I wrote the fraction seven over two, we can see that the numerator seven is bigger than the denominator two. And in light of that, we would actually call this an improper fraction. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these examples. And as we do so, we'll also be converting a few improper fractions to mixed numbers. So you'll get a good review of that as well. All right, so uh, we wanna write the reciprocal of two fits. Again, we're just swapping the numerators and the denominator. So this five, which is a denominator, is gonna become a numerator, so it's gonna come up here. And this two, which is a numerator, is now gonna become a denominator. All right, so the reciprocal of two fifths is five over two. That said, you may not see this answer on the ASVAB because this is an improper fraction. Again, the numerator five is bigger than the denominator two. So in light of that, we may have to write this as a mixed number. And the way you do that is you read this fraction here as long division. You read it like this, five divided by two. And we can actually write that off to the side. Five divided by two. All right, now let's go ahead and work this out. We start by asking ourselves, how many times does two go into five without going over? Well, two times two is four whereas two times three is six. All right, so clearly the two goes into five two times without going over. Given that two times two is four, five minus four is one. All right, and we can stop right there. We have enough to write this as a mixed number. This two is gonna be our whole number. This remainder of one is gonna be our numerator. And this two right here is gonna be our denominator. So the reciprocal of uh, two fifths is simply five over two, and the equivalent of five over two is the mixed number two and one half. All right, so that's that one, it's pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead and find the reciprocal of three eighths. Again, we're just swapping the numerator and the denominator. So since eight is a denominator, we're gonna move it to be a numerator. So this goes here. And then since three is a uh, numerator, we're gonna make it a denominator. All right, so the reciprocal of three eighths is simply eight over three. And uh, as you can see, that is an improper fraction given that the numerator of eight is bigger than the denominator of three. 
So we may have to write that as a mixed number, in which case we're going to read this as long division, notably as 8 divided by 3. And now we ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 8 without going over? Well, 3 times 2 is 6, whereas 3 times 3 is 9. So it's going to be 2 times. Again, 3 times uh, 2 is 6. And this becomes uh, 8 minus 6, which is 2. And right now we have enough to write 8 over 3 as a mixed number. Again, this 2 is our whole number. This remainder of 2 is our numerator. And this 3 is our denominator. So the reciprocal of 3 eighths is 8 over 3, which is the same as 2 and 2 thirds as a mixed number. All right, so uh, that's that. Uh, pretty simple concept. And once you get the hang of it, these questions are very, very easy. All right, so now that we've uh, found the reciprocals of some fractions, uh, let's go ahead and talk about finding the reciprocals of whole numbers. And as you can see, it says in order to find the reciprocal of a whole number, we first write the whole number as a fraction by placing it over 1, and then swap the numerator and the denominator. All right, so let me just stress this. In many of my videos, I try to mention this when we're working with fractions and whole numbers. Any whole number can be regarded as a fraction because you can simply place it over 1. So if I wanted to write 7 as a fraction, I would just place it over 1. Again, 7 divided by 1 is just 7. If I wanted to write 100 as a fraction, I would just place it over 1. 100 divided by 1 is 100. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and tackle these examples here. First, let's find the reciprocal of 5. Uh, we're going to write it as a fraction by placing it over 1. And then once we do that, we're going to swap the numerator and the denominator. So this 1's going to come up here, and this 5's going to come down here. Uh, so this is 1 over 5. And that's all there is to that. Uh, let's go ahead and look at 14 now. Again, first we're going to write it as a fraction by placing it over 1. And then once we do that, we're going to swap the numerator and the denominator. So this 1's going to come up here, and this 14's going to come down here. So the reciprocal of 14 is 1 14th, and the reciprocal of 5 is 1 5th. All right, so that's all there is to that. Nothing too difficult there. All right, so finally, let's talk about how to find the reciprocal of mixed numbers. And as you can see, it says in order to find the reciprocal of a mixed number, we first rewrite the mixed number as an improper fraction, and then we swap the numerator and the denominator. All right, so let's find the reciprocals of the following examples. We have 1 and 1 half. All right, so to write 1 and 1 half as an improper fraction, we're going to keep our denominator the same. So this denominator is going to be 2. And then we do this, 1 times 2, which is 2, plus this 1. So that's 3. So 1 and 1 half written as an improper fraction is 3 over 2. And now we simply... Uh, swap the numerator and the denominator. So this 2 is going to come up here, and this 3 is going to come down here. So the reciprocal of 1 and 1 half is uh, 2 thirds. All right, so that's that one. Let's do another example. Again, first things first, we want to write our mixed number as an improper fraction. Uh, so uh, again, we're dealing with the mixed number 4 and 2 thirds. Uh, the denominator is going to stay the same, so we're just going to drag over that 3. And then to find our numerator, we're going to do uh, 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 2, which is 14. So uh, 4 and 2 thirds is the same as the improper fraction 14 over 3. Now to find the reciprocal, we just take this 3, move it up here, and this 14, and move it down here. So this is 3 over 14. In other words, the reciprocal of 4 and 2 thirds is uh, 3 over 14. All right, so uh, that's all there is to that. And in light of that, let's go ahead and move on to uh, the practice questions that should closely resemble uh, what you may see on the ASVAB. 
Again, at this point in the video, I strongly encourage you to pause the video and attempt to work out these questions on your own. Uh, there's only going to be two practice questions, uh, so it uh, shouldn't take you too long to get through these. The first question says, find the reciprocal of 5 and 1 sixth. And we just saw examples of that. We're dealing with the mixed number 5 and 1 sixth. Our first step is to write 5 and 1 sixth as an improper fraction. And as you just saw, we're just going to drag over this denominator. This is going to be 6. And then to find the numerator, we do 5 times 6, which is uh, 30 plus 1, which is 31. And now to find the reciprocal, we simply exchange our numerator and denominator. So the 6 comes up here. And this 31 comes down here. So the reciprocal of 5 and 1 6 is 6 over 31. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the second problem in this video. It says find the product of the reciprocals of the following. And you can see we have 6, 1 tenth, and 3 and 1 fifth. All right, so ultimately we have to find the product, that is we have to multiply all of the reciprocals of these numbers. So first things first, let's find the reciprocals of these numbers. Again, we can write 6 as a fraction by placing it over 1. Therefore, we know its reciprocal is 1 6. So the, the reciprocal of 6 is 1 6. All right. Let's go ahead and find the reciprocal of 1 10th. Again, we're just going to swap the numerator and denominator. This 10 is going to go up here, and this 1 is going to go down here. So the reciprocal of uh, 1 tenth is 10 over 1. And we're going to leave this in fraction form since we're going to be multiplying all of our reciprocals together. All right, then finally, we have to find the reciprocal of uh, 3 and 1 fifth. So we're going to start by writing 3 and 1 fifth as an improper fraction. Again, our denominator is not going to change, so we'll just drag that over. And then we do 3 times 5, which is uh, 15 plus 1 is 16. All right. Now we got to find the reciprocal, which means we have to uh, swap our numerator and denominator. So our denominator is going to go up here. So this is going to be 5. And then our numerator is going to go down there to be 16. All right. So the reciprocal of 3 and 1 fifth is 5 over 16. And with all those done, let's go ahead and find the products of all these. It's going to be 1 over 6 times 10 over 1 times uh, 5 over 16. Again, we're just multiplying fractions here, so we just, we're just we just going to multiply straight across. That is to say, this is going to become 1 times 10 times 5 over 6 times 1 times 16. All right, so let's go ahead and work that out. This is actually pretty easy to do for the most part. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 5 is 50. So this is 50 over 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 16. I'm going to have to work that off to the side. This is 6 times 16. 6 times 6 is uh, 36. So we're going to drop down a 6 and carry a 3. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So this is 50 over 96. And it may not be obvious. But 50 and 96 uh, have a common factor of 2. So let's go ahead and reduce these. 50 divided by 2 is uh, 25. 96 divided by 2, uh, you might not be able to do that in your head. But that said, we should be able to do it via long division very quickly. 96 divided by 2. Nine goes, or 2 goes into 9 uh, 4 times without going over. 2 times 4 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1, and we drop down the 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. Uh, 2 times 8 is 16, so there's no remainder. So this becomes uh, 96 divided by 2, which is 48. And uh, we cannot reduce this any further. All right, so that's our final answer to that one. All right, so that's it for this video. Again, I just wanted to make a short video about how to find the reciprocal of a fraction, a whole number, and a mixed number, and show you some examples that may show up on the ASVAB. 
Uh, so as always, I hope you found this video helpful. You're more than welcome to leave feedback in the comment section below. And if you like the content I'm creating, please consider subscribing to my channel. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and catch you loose.